go have fun, go do fall things with the people you love. Hello everybody, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. One thing I haven't done in a while is like my list videos. When I started my channel, actually the beginning of 2018, a lot of my videos were like tips videos or kind of like list videos and I wanted to go back and kind of make one like that. And this one is things to do in the fall. This includes a lot of like cliche kind of things, but there's also other things that maybe you don't think of on a day-to-day -day basis. I just thought that putting a list together would kind of help you with knowing what to do this fall. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. So let's get to this list of things to do in the fall time. I have both inside and outside things to do. So if you're a homebody, there's still things to do for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's start with things to do outside. So if you're more of a person that likes to get out and do things, this part is going to be mostly for you. The first thing to do during fall time is a pumpkin patch. So yeah, I know this one's very basic, very typical, but there are a lot of people that enjoy just going and picking out a pumpkin, getting a little hayride out to the pumpkin patch. And nowadays, a lot of times pumpkin patches have a lot of different things to do. The one we go to, there's like these big hay bales, this huge slide, little like train tractor ride thing, and the fall food. Like they have an apple cider donut or something like that. And of course, maze can't forget that just know that usually pumpkin patches have more than just pumpkins obviously research before you go to some place thinking that they have other things but typically they'll have other things to do so you can make a day out of it number two is to have a campfire it's always fun to just like get together with your family or friends or just people you love and laugh around the fire cook some marshmallows and hot dogs and stuff like that and especially when it is chilly outside and you have the warm fire it's just like perfect you know so if you're somewhere where you can have a campfire just like in the backyard or some place i don't know <laughs> go do that and cozy up with your friends or your family or just people you care about laugh around the fire eat some good food and be happy because it's fall <laughs> number three is for people who like scary things you've probably guessed it already but that is to go to some haunted attraction a hayride haunted house something scary if you like that if you're into that if you're not and you get really scared easily don't do that because you probably won't like it <laughs> if you're lucky enough to go to universal to the halloween horror nights go do that oh my gosh i really wish i could have gone this year and last year because i think they had american horror story last year this year they have stranger things <sighs> I just really wish that I could have gone, but it's expensive, very expensive. But if you do get the chance to go, I would definitely recommend going, get some fast passes and get scared because it is so cool there. If you don't have that little luxury, just find your nearest like haunted house or haunted hayride and go to that with some friends, family, people who want to get scared with you or boyfriend if you need somebody to protect you, unless they get scared too, then you know. Bottom line, find some scary shit to do. <laughs> Number four is for people who kind of like to get some exercise and that is to go somewhere and just take a hike. Hopefully there's maybe a state park around you so you can go with some people and just enjoy the outdoors. It's like the perfect weather for it because it's not too hot and it's usually not too cold, especially if you have some layers on. So yeah, I think a nice hike in this weather would just be really calming and good for the soul. Go make your soul happy and if the leaves have changed oh, it probably looks beautiful there too so you can just witness the beauty of nature you know number five i guess this is for people who like to be creative or just really love halloween and fall and that is to decorate the outside of your house my family and i used to go all out for Halloween. It was a really good time. So if you're really into decorating, go get some decorations and have some fun just decorating the outside of your house. There are so many different kinds of decorations, so you're you're not gonna run out of ideas. You can even look up some like DIY decorations on Pinterest. I bet there are plenty. I mean, it's Pinterest. 
The sixth thing is going shopping. Now you could go to like the mall or something, but I would really suggest going to like an outdoor shopping center so you can really get like the nice breeze of the fall and just like the cozy weather and go shopping for some like fall things. Or if you are looking for big comfy sweaters, I would definitely recommend going to Goodwill. Look in the guys section. That's where I usually find my comfy sweaters. They always just have better ones than girls do. I don't know. But Goodwill. Goodwill is definitely a good one. Or maybe go shopping for some candles. That's a good idea. I like candles. <laughs> now we're going to transition into the stuff to do during fall inside because some people are just homebodies or maybe you just don't want to get out for the day but you still want to do something a little festive. I got you. I got you. The first thing is something the same from outdoors but it's indoors and that is to decorate the inside of your house, not the outside, but the inside. That is actually what I ended up doing. I bought a handful of decorations from the dollar store and Walmart. You can just go buy some cheap decorations. They don't have to be expensive. You can do some DIY stuff again, look at Pinterest and just make your room or house feel like fall. The second thing to do, I guess you could do this outdoors. I normally do it indoors and that is to carve a pumpkin. I have carved a pumpkin consecutively for years now. I, I don't know how many. I mean, like I said, our family was very into Halloween and I just kind of carried that with me. So I always like to get a good pumpkin and carve it. When I was in high school and on the dance team, we carved pumpkins together. That was one thing we did. And now I carve pumpkins with Garrett. So you could do it by yourself. You could do it with friends. You could do it with a boyfriend. You could do it with family. I keep using Pinterest, but that's where I usually go for ideas. You can also just buy the carving kits and they have a bunch of designs in there, or you can just make your own. One year I did make my own, I think. And it was once upon a time, and it was her like yellow bug. If you've seen Once Upon a Time, you know what I'm talking about. Last year, Garrett and I did Cult, American Horror Story. The year before that, we did from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, I think. The year before that, we did Mike Wazowski. That was a cute one. I've done probably other stencil ones too. I think I've done one with bats and a moon. And I don't know. I just love carving pumpkins. So if that's your thing, if you like getting a little messy and creative, carve some pumpkins. And hey, if you went to the pumpkin patch, then you can come home and carve your pumpkin. So if you wanna go outside and inside, you can do both. The third thing goes along with the second thing that I said, and that is to cook some pumpkin seeds. I think I'm gonna try to find some recipes for you guys and put the link in the description. If you like eating pumpkin seeds and you just wanna get creative and kind of make some recipe up with them, you can do that or you can look at all the hundreds of ones online. There are so many. I'm pretty sure we ended up just making up a recipe last time. We made one that was like spicy and then another that had I think like just caramel on it or something like that. I don't know, it was good, it was really good. But if you are into that, use your seeds that you just carved your pumpkin with and make some pumpkin seeds for you to eat. Number four is for the people who wanna get scared but they don't wanna go out to get scared. And that is to cozy up and watch a scary movie. I love me a good scary movie and I love me some bad scary movies. So I just like scary movies in general. If you have Netflix, plenty scary movies on there. Or if it is during the month of October, uh, I think it's now called Freeform, but it used to be ABC Family. Yeah, they usually have days of Halloween. It used to be just 13, but this year it's like all October which is really cool. So you can do that. You can go rent some from like Redbox or something, cozy up with your blankets, maybe light a candle and just get scared and watch a scary movie. It doesn't even actually have to be scary. It could just be like a Halloween movie, like Hocus Pocus, something like that. Or <sighs> Halloween Town. If you like Halloween Town, please comment below because Halloween Town is one of my favorites. The second one is my favorite. I like the second one better when they all go gray. I think that's the one. Yeah. Number five, my last one. It's really simple. I guess it's not necessarily a fall thing. And that is to basically just get cozy and read a book. I'd say light a candle, maybe 
make some tea, some hot drink, and sit down and read your favorite book. Maybe you wanna read like a mystery or something scary for like Halloween, or maybe just your favorite book. But I think that during the fall time, just, you know, getting all cozy and reading a book with a candle lit or something and a warm drink is just, feels really nice, I don't know. Right now I'm currently reading The Shining and it's really weird. I've seen the movie, but I just started reading the book and it's so weird. <laughs> I like it though. I wanna see the movie after it though and compare it because I really forget how the movie is and like what really happens. I remember like big details, but not the small things that the book talks about, you know? Alrighty guys, that is the end of my things to do in fall, both outside and inside. Even if maybe you've thought of these yourself, hopefully I inspired you to go do them maybe. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you feel like you want to go do some fall things and plan some stuff and just get into the spirit because really, I don't know, to me it's such a beautiful time just because I love all the leaves turning and everyone just feels a bit more warm and cozy, you know, when you're inside and with the people you love and everything, doing things that you love. So. Yeah, do more of that. Don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I hope you guys have an amazing fall day or night wherever you are in the world right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.